Japan just unveiled a terrifying new robot, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. It doesn't walk like a human, it doesn't roll like a machine, it runs, climbs, and jumps like a living, breathing horse. Meet Corleo, Kawasaki's newest four-legged creation, designed to blur the line between biology and robotics. And trust me, once you see what this robot can do, you'll question everything you thought you knew about the future of AI and automation. Kawasaki, known globally for its motorcycles and heavy machinery, is taking a bold leap into the future of robotics with Corleo. This isn't just another robot dog clone. Corleo is a completely new species of machine, fast, agile, and disturbingly lifelike. Developed by Kawasaki's robotics division in collaboration with academic institutions in Japan, this robot isn't a prototype locked away in a lab. It's here, it's real, and it's running. So why build a robot horse? According to Kawasaki, the goal was to create a versatile robotic platform that could navigate difficult terrain where wheels and tracks fail. Think mountains, rubble, disaster zones, places that are inaccessible to most traditional machines. The inspiration came from nature itself. Horses have evolved over millions of years to move efficiently over various terrains. Kawasaki's engineers wanted to replicate that natural efficiency with mechanical precision. But Corleo is more than just a machine that moves like a horse, it thinks, or at least it processes information in real time. Using a suite of Senio stands roughly 1.6 meters tall at the shoulder and weighs around 150 kilograms. It can run up to 20 kilometers per hour, jump over obstacles one meter high, and climb slopes with a 45 degree incline. Its battery life allows for continuous operation for about 90 minutes, and it's built with modular parts for quick maintenance and upgrades. Kawasaki claims the robot can even operate in rainy and dusty environments, thanks to its IP-rated weatherproof casing. And yes, this kind of power and complexity comes with a hefty price tag. The expected cost? Around $1 million per unit. But for governments, disaster response teams, or military applications, that price might actually be a bargain. Imagine a fleet of these robotic horses scouting dangerous terrain, delivering supplies to inaccessible areas, or even transporting gear across battlefields. Of course, Kawasaki is keen to stress that Corleo is not designed as a weapon. The official statement emphasizes its intended use in industrial, research, and humanitarian fields. But let's be honest. The line between peaceful tech and military utility has always been razor thin. And when you see a machine that can move like an animal operate without direct input and adapt to changing environments, it's not hard to imagine how quickly such tech could be repurposed. The unveiling of Corleo has sparked massive discussion in the robotics community. Some praise it as a leap forward in biomimetic engineering. Others raise ethical questions. Are we going too far in replicating nature? What happens when machines move and behave so much like living creatures that we start to empathize with them? Does that change how we use them or abuse them? One viral clip shows Corleo being pushed over, only to catch itself mid-fall and rebalance with a whip-like motion of its legs. It's eerie. Not because it falls, but because it recovers in a way that feels almost emotional. People watching the video aren't just amazed, they're unsettled. And that emotional reaction is exactly what makes this launch so significant. Robots are no longer just tools, they're becoming entities. Japan has long been at the forefront of robotics, from humanoid androids to autonomous factory machines. 
But Corleo represents something new, a synthesis of biology, engineering, and artificial intelligence that's designed to behave like a living thing, not just mimic one. It's a clear signpost toward a future where our machines don't just work for us, they move among us, with us, like they belong. So, what's next? Kawasaki says, this is just the beginning. They're already working on improved balance algorithms, faster actuators, and even voice command interfaces. The long-term vision is to create robots that can assist in agriculture, rescue missions, and remote exploration. Imagine Corleo variants patrolling forests for wildfire hotspots, climbing rocky hills to plant sensors, or even aiding the elderly in mountainous rural areas. But even as we marvel at what this machine can do, we should also take a moment to reflect. The boundary between living and non-living is getting thinner by the day. And as AI grows smarter and robots grow more agile, the question we must ask isn't just what can we build, but also should we? Corleo is fast, powerful, and undeniably groundbreaking, but it's also a mirror reflecting our deepest ambitions and anxieties about the role of machines in our lives. So the next time you see a video of a robot galloping like a horse climbing stairs or jumping a ravine, don't just marvel at the technology. Ask yourself what it means for the future. Because Corleo isn't just a robot, it's a warning shot, a glimpse into a world where the wild and the artificial collide. And that world, it's already